Oscom, open up. Oh, hello there, Private. I'm completely drained. Kirill? Hmm. All right, Private. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I just don't want... You don't want what? To be a private! And I don't want to be an Oscom anymore! Right. Please, elaborate on that. I want to see Biraskaya. And I saw the soldiers taking green stuff from people. I mean, one traitor, when I give it to them, started shouting. They beat them up and took all the green stuff anyway. Well, this is just unacceptable. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to get their names. You said Oscom protects people, but you just take their green stuff away. Why? You're right. The situation is dire. Everyone's on edge. People don't want to share their green stuff. Some even attack the soldiers. That traitor started shouting, and they thought he could attack them. It's all a misunderstanding, don't you see? Huh. That was a pretty extreme misunderstanding. The man's barely alive! That's his fault. When the authorities demand something, you must comply. Well, they demanded his last green stuff. But, yes, I know they were on duty. Great. Speaking of things we must do, it's high time we gave you a shot of green stuff. All right. Miller here. Do you read? Over. I read you, Colonel. There's some static. Over. I hear static too. I'm entering Sibirskaya. Was this where the last battle happened? Over. Yes. I only know of it from Father's words. Right before the rioters started their last attack, we had to talk. Dad, do you really have to go? We didn't rest at all. The rioters are advancing. There's no time for rest. Rioters? Tell me, Dad. If we, Oscom, are protecting people, why lie to them? Wow. You've grown up, Private. And I'm none the wiser. So let's have a grown-up talk. Should we tell the truth? Of course. But life is a complex thing. In the hands of our enemies, truth may be dangerous. We must carefully choose who we can entrust with it, and who we cannot. The command sees the whole picture, and makes decisions. However unpleasant those decisions might be sometimes, they are still necessary. The command thinks about everyone, while the civilians only think about themselves. That is why the truth that might scare them must be kept secret, for their own good. Do you understand that? I do. But still, this is a scary way of thinking. There are a lot of scary things in life. Yet, I brought you up well. You are strong and brave. You can take it. All right, time to go. 
You get home and don't step out or let anyone in until I'm back. It's an order. Yes, Colonel, sir. Sergeant, walk him home. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kirill. All right. Good luck, Dad. Good luck, son. No, sir. They were almost at the HQ. We were lucky to intercept. I see. Oh, if it isn't the Colonel. Are you ready to face your maker? Lieutenant, I'll take the detonator. Give me cover. Yes, sir. Attention! Covering fire for the Colonel. No saving ammo. Roger that!
Come in, HQ. Klebnikov here. HQ here. One charge didn't work. Damn. Go back to Sibirskaya and stop them there. I've got no one else to rely on. Roger that. Over and out. Colonel, sir! They blew the airlock and are coming down from the surface! It's either us or them! We'll get them to the top row! We'll give them some! Let them come! We're ready!
successful. Pawns are all dealt with. Ready for evacuation. You fucker. What do you mean? Already left. What? What's going on? We're covering evacuation. Evacuation? But you just killed everyone! Soldiers! Civilians! Nobody left to evacuate! Slava! There's only enough green stuff left to evacuate the leadership! Everyone else is doomed! Gas was used just to cut the agony short. So you knew it! You knew it all along, you motherfucker! <coughs> Did I have a choice? <laughs> what difference does it make now? I made a mistake leaving me now. <laughs> Petrov! Petrov! The fuckers left with us! Get Seryoga on the line now! <laughs> what? Dead? Seryoga? Son? Now listen to me. There's an RPG in the gun cabinet. Get it and rush to the old crossroads. Blow the fuckers up there! Go! <laughs> So, what do we do now? <laughs> Whatever. I had enough. <coughs> Dad? Dad! Don't look there. I'm sorry I broke your order. There was a shooting at the station, then it all went quiet, and you didn't come. I was worried, and I went looking for you. Listen, I told you earlier, who should be told the truth, and who should not? Forget it. It's not for us to decide. And if you're being fooled, it's never for your own good. That's why he's dead. I... I, I understand. Good. And now, let's go home, son.